They make it seem so easy sometimes. Give $10 and you'll feed a family for a month. Give $20 and you could even send a kid to school. It really isn't that easy though. When you start giving handouts, you create a dependency that can ultimately crush a community when your presence fades. Engineers Without Borders focuses on giving a hand up, not a hand out. This means that we partner with a community who has reached out to us in order to find an engineering solution to whatever challenge a community is facing. We partner with an in-country, non-governmental organization and community leaders to set up a strong team of people to work towards a common goal. These in-country partners help us find solutions that are culturally relevant and sustainable. The communities then help fund and implement the project and are taught how to care for it. At Missouri University of Science and Technology, we have one of the largest student chapters of Engineers Without Borders in the United States. We are actively working in five communities and in four different countries. This takes a lot of dedication from both students and their mentors to design engineering projects and complete multiple steps of design approval to make sure that we are creating a sustainably sound structuring system. Engineers Without Borders has been the best thing that I've done in college. The reason that it has is because I've been able to take my passion that I have for engineering and finding solutions for things and turn it into helping people. We're able to take a problem that a community has and use our engineering minds to come up with a solution that can not only fix the problem, but drastically change each individual's lives that we are touching. So one of the really awesome projects that we got to do was implement a potable water system for a community. This potable water system brought the water that they needed for their everyday basic needs to about 120 people. But overall, I can say that the biggest lesson I've learned is the definition of true happiness. And that is, that happiness is not bought with materials and possession, but lies within each one of us and in our relationships with each other. If you would like to support us as we continue to work in these developing countries, there are a couple of easy ways. First, please vote for this video at projectforawesome.com. If you would like to donate directly to us, you can at ewb.mst.edu at the link below. Thank you for watching and have a happy Project for Awesome.